it doesn't no, I, I had got that through the grapevine, but it does sound that's an important uh, issue that we've had in the county with flooding out there, and I think that uh, that uh, in keeping, I think, where, where Tony had mentioned, uh, we'll probably try to get that moving uh, in the spring. So that is progressing forward. Uh, Wilhelm Avenue project, uh, we're moving ahead. We have hit some snags when it comes to the, the sign-off on the 4F, 4F de minimis, um, primarily for some of the legal concerns there, which I don't want to go into a huge amount, but uh, we do have another uh, alternative. I did meet uh, and have a call with uh, the district project manager to discuss this a little bit further and what our next route is. We will be pursuing an individual 4F, which will allow us to keep that project moving forward. So uh, we are making progress. It will probably push the timeline uh, of that project back a little bit. Um, that was one of the discussions that we had in terms of the importance of that project. And as you all know, um, it is also one of the five intersections that we're looking at in that part, which along those lines, for those of you who have gone out to the Rockerty and Cornwall Road intersection, you can see those improvements are, are starting to, to come to a close. Uh, you can see the reconfigured intersection. Um, as well with Rockerty and, uh, and 72 is already moving forward, uh, as is Isabel and, uh, and uh, 72. Uh, if you've been out in the Myerstown area, you'll see a lot of the work that's happening at 501 and 422, which is a direct result of the road safety audit that we had done a number of years ago. So we're pleased to see some of those improvements progressing. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the other projects that Inwood. Uh, I believe we've got our submerged lands permit from DEP, and I think that kind of puts that project on par to continue moving forward. So we're, we're hopeful that uh, you'll start to see some work out there, which we've been anxious for for quite a number of years. Um, but I guess with that, that's, I know in working with the city and resurfacing project, we've been going through that and we have that broken out into various phases, and, and we're working with the city to kind of queue those things up so that we can can keep them moving as well so you'll start to see more more work happening around the area but um, I think uh, for the most part we're, we're very pleased the other thing relative to other activities is um, uh, I think I might have mentioned to the board we're looking at four possible RSAs across the county uh, we'll be meeting with uh, the district staff um, here at the beginning of November to kind of go over them uh, the four of them include a section of 422 that would go from Fifth Avenue out to Prescott. Um, we would look at 7th Street or 343 from Maple Street out to Heffelfinger mm -hmm. and then go from Tunnel Hill Road from 934 over to Center Street and then look at 934 from Royal Road up to um, Clear Spring Road. So, And a lot of those have been a result of, of discussions we've had with Anvil Clan School District and then naturally that brought in things that are going on with LVC and, and um, development out at uh, Killinger uh, as well with there's other projects that we have on the 422 quarter that we've had some of the existing issues that we want to discuss so our goal will be to kind of talk with the district and see where where we align in terms of priorities and, and hear from their safety unit and uh, traffic unit on maybe other things that they've been looking at as well so um, I think we'll keep you posted on where that ends up but the 241 and 422 improvements I guess are one of those things I illustrate that the RSA has been a great tool for us to work with the department as figuring out exactly what are the improvements that you would like in a corridor, bring in the locals, um, folks like Pat and the Bike Coalition were not only reaching out with her members to try to get some additional feedback that we can use when we talk with uh, the department and then hopefully at the end when we pull together a meeting and go and look at the corridor and discuss it, we'll, we'll figure out what improvements ultimately can be programmed and can be upgraded as part of that. So we'll keep you posted. Stay tuned. Okay.